to start thinking green. It's almost springtime. I'm ready for some color. I don't know about you guys. And I really like plants. I like to have plants around me all the time, but especially in the winter when it's not so green outside. So if you have some plants that need to be cut and maybe have a coffee can and some rocks, you can get them anywhere. A, uh, some kind of something you can use like as a container inside here that you could poke holes in. So I'm using a water bottle. You could use a pop bottle. You could use um, maybe a, an older uh, planter pot that would fit inside of here, but it needs to be able to have some drainage holes in it. And then some rope. This is some old rope that we have reused. I don't even know where it came from, to be honest. Um, but you may have some rope, you may have some uh, twine, you may have yarn or something else. You can do it with any of those things. You need some scissors to cut off the top of the bottle and you need some hot glue to glue the rope to your can. So when you're starting out, you want to start out with doing the rope first. Now I've got rocks in the bottom of here because that's my next step. So pay no attention to the music coming from my can. I flattened out the end of my rope a little bit so I can get a really good anchor with the hot glue. So mash that on there. Be really careful when you're doing this. And I would use a low temperature hot glue gun and maybe even get some help from adults. It's pretty messy. You will get hot glue all over the place. So you wanna go around here in concentric circles, just around and around and around. You don't need to cut it after each time you go around the can. Just keep going around. And you wanna make sure that each one of the rows are really close to the next one. If you do run out, um, you can tell right here where I kind of had to join stuff together. If you do run out, just kind of overlap the rope, glue the next one down, keep going around. Now, the other thing that I noticed when I was doing this that I probably would do if I was doing it again is paint the can first so that you don't have silver showing through. I would paint it a dark color, uh, maybe a really dark green or a black or a brown or something kind of natural looking so that it doesn't look like you got a coffee can in there. It looks like something you purchased off of Etsy and it's beautiful, right? So we're going to put some rocks in the bottom of here for drainage um, because our plant is gonna need to drain a little bit. It also is going to give this some weight so we can't knock it over. Or if you've got uh, animals in the house, you don't want them to knock it over either. Speak of animals and plants, make sure that you look up what kind of plant you want to have and make sure that it's not going to be dangerous to pets in the house. Some plants can be a little bit irritating. Some can make them really sick. So check it out. We use a philodendron. Um, by the way, they're irritating to cats and dogs, so don't use them in your house if you've got cats and dogs. Um, all you need to do is cut a piece of the plant. Sometimes they get really long and you want to cut them, or sometimes they don't fit the pot anymore and you need to kind of break it up. Make sure when you're putting this in here, there are these collars on the stem. That's where there were leaves. So you want to make sure that that gets buried because that's where you're going to get new root growth. So use your finger as your tool, dig down in there and cover it back up. Now this one I'm not going to pull up because it has rooted. You can tell because it's got a new baby leaf, which is really exciting. And that should grow up to be a really nice plant. Like I said, some plants are really good for this, um, for taking cuttings from. Some plants are maybe not great for it. So kind of look up what kind of plant you have, check it out. I know snake plants can also be cut right at the leaf. Just take a chunk of the leaf and put it right down in the soil. Try it out. Have fun with reuse and get some green in your life.